Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Kellogg's Eggo waffles. These are Belgian style street waffles. We have the vanilla bean, the chocolate chip, and the buttery maple flavor. These were $4.99 each at Meyer. And uh, it says baked in flavor, ready to eat. So, um, a perfect grab and go. You get four waffles for five bucks. <laughs> so there's only there's only four waffles in here. That um, that surprises me because normally a box of Eggo waffles you get like I don't know. It seems like you ah oh, okay. It seems like you get like six or eight or ten or something like that. So what you can do is. It says it on the side here. You can thaw and eat. So that's how they're ready to go. So you can thaw it at room temperature for about an hour. Just lay this out on the counter for an hour. Or you can toast them. You can remove it from the wrapper, put it in the toaster for, on the lowest setting until it's warm. You can also put these in the air fryer. You set your air fryer to 300 and you put them in the air fryer for two to three minutes. Or you can put them in the microwave. So you can um, put it, uh, take it out of the wrapper, put it on a plate, and then heat it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds until warm. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, put ours in the toaster. So I'm going to put my toaster on the lowest setting. But So this is what the vanilla looks like. Just plain. And fortunately, um, I have a pair of toaster tongs that Rachel sent us a long time ago. These are bamboo toaster tongs because that uh, is, you're going to need it <laughs> to grab that. Um, this is the chocolate chip. So you can see a little bit of chocolate. Oh, yeah, there's more chocolate on that side. We'll go ahead and start that. And then, buttery maple. We could always stick this one in the microwave, see how it turns out. Oh, let's do that. Okay, so it said microwave for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, we'll probably do, what, 25 seconds right yeah. in the middle in the microwave. So we'll have two toasted and one out of the microwave. Well, these came out of the toaster. I definitely used my toaster tongs, which worked great. Um, these are... They're firm, but the, I mean, they don't feel they don't feel crispy like a thin waffle. And then this is the maple, and it is it has a very strong maple uh, scent. Um, but honestly, it feels about the same as the one that came out of the toaster. It says on the back of the box or on the side of the box where those directions where I was reading you. It says keep frozen until ready to thaw or, or heat. Do not refreeze thawed product. Thawed waffles can be kept at room temperature for up to 15 days. These Belgian style waffles are fully cooked and ready to enjoy thawed or heated. But then it, it gives you at the bottom, it says pro tip. It says keep a box in your pantry for up to 15 days to quickly grab and go. So that way, if they're not in the freezer, uh, if they're just up in the cabinet, we don't say the word pantry, we don't have a pantry, but we just put them up in the cabinet. Um, we, you could have a whole box of these up in the cabinet at room temperature. So, you know, they're telling you, uh, thaw them for an hour. Well, heck, you wouldn't have to worry about thawing them for an hour if they're in your, your get cabinet. Get them from the store, stick them in the, stick in your cabinet. And stick in the cabinet because there's only four in here. Mm -hmm. So if you're the type of person that you're going to eat, you know you're going to eat one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, well, then that's the whole box. Yeah. You don't even have to worry about the 15 days. So I just think that uh, is very interesting because I would have never thought to put People would think that, that you were crazy if they saw you put a box of frozen waffles in your cabinet. So I thought that was interesting. If you wanted to get you a, a Sharpie or something to write the date on write the box. Write the date on the box. Yeah, yeah totally you could know. do that. Okay, so we're going to try the vanilla bean first. It, um, it says Belgian style street waffles. Echo Belgian style street waffles are made with brioche inspired dough, crunchy pearl sugar, and real butter. Crafted after traditional street waffles from Liege, Belgium. These sweet snacks are on the go Europe they're your on the go European vacation for a busy day. Um, thick brioche dough, crunchy pearl sugar, and baked in vanilla flavor. One waffle is 230 calories. So it's a good thing you, you don't have to have syrup. <laughs> 
No, it has a nice vanilla flavor too. Yeah, it does. Uh, it tastes just like a vanilla pound cake. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like an Angel's Food cake or something. Yeah. Like one of those, just a very plain vanilla cake. Uh -huh. The, a lot of people would bring it home and put like strawberry or something mm -hmm. like that with it. That's what that tastes like. Yeah. And it does have mm -hmm. some of those pearl the sugar. Mm -hmm. It's not covered, no. but it, but you get a you get a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything wrong with them. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Yeah, they're kind of plain, but they're they're good. Well, it is great that you can eat it. I could eat it plain. I would eat it just like yeah. that. But if you did want to put different flavors of syrup or whatever with yeah. it, you could. Yeah. Or like um, Landa Lakes has those butter those spreads. And they've come out with, you know, they have the pumpkin spice and they have maple and they have all these different flavors of the spreads. You could use any of those with that and it would work with yeah, that vanilla. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we have the um, the chocolate chip. And it is warm enough too to come out of the toaster on the lowest setting. It's fine. It's not yeah. hot, but it's warm enough. Oh yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's not scalding hot. Like I've gotten pop tarts before where you bite into the middle of it and it, 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 it will scald your tongue. <laughs> yes, this is not like that because it's it's just the texture of it. And well, we've sat here talking to 230 calories for the chocolate chip or 920 for the box if you want to eat the whole, all four. You can tell a di definite difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the vanilla is not as strong, and you do get that somewhat chocolatey kind of flavor. Yes, it says baked in chocolate yeah. chips. That's yeah. exactly what it I'm getting. Yeah. Is you don't have the vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. They've swapped that out with the chocolate. It has a chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. I think that has plenty of chocolate in it, though. Yeah, it doesn't seem quite as sweet as the vanilla to me, but it's right. It's it's fine. It's right there. It isn't for me either because those chips taste like semi-sweet, which they are. Yeah. They're semi-sweet chocolate. Yeah. Um, so no, it's not as sweet as the vanilla. Yeah. But there's not a ton of the chips anyway, so you're not getting this like all chocolate. It's not like you're eating chocolate chips just by the handful. It's not like No, that. but I really do like the, I, I the, the, the yeah, it's, it's a nice flavor. Yeah. This is the one I'm most worried about just because the smell was very strong. And... It just depends on how strong, how artificial they went. This is the buttery maple flavor. So baked in maple flavor, 230 calories again. And this is the one that we put in the microwave. So it'll be interesting. Ooh, got a little wet on the bottom. Oh. That's what I was going to say. It's, it's not bad though. like that when that happens. It's not soaked. It's not soggy or anything. I actually get more sugar crystals on this one. I know. I did either one of the other two. I know. I think this is perfectly fine. It actually stayed warmer than the other two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm really getting a crunch from the sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it's because of the waffle or because of the microwave. I don't know. Uh -huh. I, can't, I can't tell you. Um, what I would do, though, is if you microwave these on a plate, take them and move them to the side. That's what I do. Because, I, and I, I should have, I, I didn't know why I didn't think about it, because I do that with my stuff. Or flip it over. Flip it over and setting. move it too. You yeah. still need to move it. Move it one way or the other because it will sit in some moisture and it'll get, it doesn't get soggy. It wasn't wet. No, it wasn't, it wasn't soggy, but it no. was kind of It wasn't, wet. It, yeah, it was just more like a, a touch thing. Yeah. It's more like, you know, that kind of thing. But wherever you microwaved it, you just need to move it. Yeah. Um, sometimes I'll take a napkin and I'll wipe it with a napkin and then I'll put it back yeah. <laughs> because I'm just funny about it. I've microwaved um, mine on napkins before. Yeah. And it helps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that one does definitely have the most uh, uh, like little sugary. sugar crystals, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, the maple flavor is nice too. Yes. So it it was it, it's sweet and you do get maple, but it's not too much. It wasn't anything. It wasn't overkill at all. It didn't taste you know, you, that really artificial off-putting maple, mm -hmm. this was not like that at all. No, no, I mean, not even the least bit. It's just, no. and it seems sweeter. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, this is, the maple's the sweetest one here. Yeah, that's my, sure. that's yeah. my choice. Um, for every day, I, my order for every day, I'm gonna pick the vanilla because it's, it's just plain. And I know I'm not gonna get tired of that flavor at all, all just because it's a, Vanilla cake, that's what, but then I am gonna pick the maple, yeah. and then I'll go with chocolate chip. 
Yeah, I would probably just flip my the vanilla and maple, but yeah, yeah, I think they're good. All of these are good though, yeah. and they would really be uh, good on the go uh, any time of day. You don't have to just have these for breakfast this, yeah. because this uh, I can tell you just from the three bites I took. I mean, they were big, but these are going to be filling. I think. Yeah. Yeah, Make I you feel like you've had something, in, you have something in your stomach. You and know? truthfully, even if I laid these out in the cabinet and left them um, just at room temperature, I'd probably throw them in the microwave just to warm them up 10 seconds. Oh, if yeah. they're thawed, right. I would heat them up for like 10 seconds just to warm them up a little bit because I like a warm. Because it like is nice. Warm. Yeah, it is nice to have it yeah. warm. Yeah. yeah. But you don't have to. You can no, for because, sure eat them room temperature. Because like your bread, you make a sandwich and you yeah. eat your bread at room temperature. temperature. You don't heat your bread up for your ham sandwich, yeah. you know. So, But I, I think all of these are very good. Yeah, I think they're worth, worth trying out at least. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.